Hola amigos de Fan Deportivo, hoy estamos aquí con los jugadores de Ángeles de la Ciudad de México que hoy están participando en la Liga Ciudad Copa y es momento de que los conozcamos uno a uno y conozcamos sus historias. Yo soy Jesse, de uno y dos. My name is Will Yoakum and I play wing. Fender Blue, uh, guard. My name is Johnny Hughes, the third. I'm a wing, play the four in the uh, big position. Guys, thank you for being here, having time to speak with the people and let me know you a little bit more. So, I, I want to ask, how was this, this start of being involved with basketball? Who made you uh, the first person that Basketball, give it to you and say, Hey, let's go play a pickup or something like that. My dad and my brothers, I'm the youngest out of them, so growing up, we used to either go to the park, play basketball, or play football. It was either way. So it was like two sports? Yeah. The only reason I played picked up basketball fully full time because I broke my leg playing football. My mother was like, either I pick one or she wasn't watching me play football for some reason to see me get hurt again. So I just played basketball. So it was like a surprising sport, not the one that you say like, hey, at the beginning, it's gonna be fun to be just No, it was fun. I just, I like content. Okay. <laughs> Now we can see that. I like content. And you guys, how about this? So we grew up playing all types of sports, basketball, football, baseball, um, and then as I got older, we started playing more basketball. He actually played before I did. He, he joined the team before I did. So he's the one that kind of got me into it. Um, but we used to always like watch ESPN and Sports Center and see the highlights and just want to go do it outside and right after. So that's kind of how I kind of developed a love for sports and then basketball in general. But how old you start playing basketball? Because uh, we, we talked with Beto Coria and he started playing until he was 18 years old. So he was like, really old to start. I'll say fifth grade, so maybe like 10 or 11. Young. Yeah. You, you were so I, I, like organized basketball, probably like 10, but I, I started shooting around when I was like, you know, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, I started playing basketball because um, I was always with my sister. So I'm the youngest of three, so my sister would have me and my brother when I was always working. So uh, my sister played basketball and she would always just have me play against people for money or first. And, and, uh, I just developed a love being with her, just always going to watch her play against guys. And obviously she had me playing against people for money. And then just kind of developed a love that way since I was in my third grade. So, so basically it was sport that makes you connect with your sister? Started. Yeah, we needed some money too, so I was, yeah. like, yeah, I was good, so it helped us yeah. get, get by some days. That, that's a good, a good thing, like, yeah. you got to build the skills, and that helped you get the money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what made me start playing basketball with my older brother, uh, he was already good. Uh, a lot of people knew him in the city or the county, really, because he was averaging a lot of points. But my first year of playing was ninth grade. I started late. And, uh, he influenced me to like try out and see what happened. So uh, believe in yourself. So I did. Made the team. And that's when I started falling in love with basketball. In English, in general. In English, for <coughs> I go in English so they understand. Me, so. I, I think that's better. So, so uh, I started uh, playing soccer when I was like six. Discovered basketball in seventh grade, and then I, I never stopped. And then I started playing uh, three on three tournaments, and I actually uh, ended up in music because of basketball. And uh, I ended up uh, marrying my wife because of basketball. So basketball has been a big part of my life, and for me to be here with uh, these fine gentlemen here, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's an honor. I don't want to jump all the way to the professional part. Uh, I want to talk with you, like, because we have been talking right now about your stories of how you start playing basketball. 
I think it's an important thing not just to jump straight like when you're just a star and you already are part of the, of the roster and everything because there was a part when you start that as you said it was a tough moment yeah, that it was part of the process it was part of all the things that have happened in your life and it was start with your left so I, I, want, I want you to tell me uh, in this beginning of your stories which was the moment when you were young that you started realizing that maybe you can be a pro one day but it was going to be a long process I mean for me I think oh. it's been <laughs> the process has been the, the, the longest but uh, I think um, it was more about the, the perseverance mentality and, and a lot of discipline and that's what I do music and that's the same thing I've been doing with everything or anything I do in my life. I try to get everything I can do and it, it, had, it has always uh, brought me uh, beautiful things. But when you were young, there was a moment when you start visualizing yourself like, hey, maybe before music. Yeah. There was a moment that you say like, hey, maybe I can be, I can be pro, and then not necessarily wait until there is something with the music yeah. part. The, the first thing that you say, hey, I can even go get a scholarship. Don't don't miss that that part of the process. Yeah, I think the the, the, the main thing with me it was a uh, I was a father at a very young age, so so there was one point there that that school uh, had to be put on pause, and I had to find a job and work my ass off to, to make a living for me and my wife and my daughter. And my daughter. So uh, that was kind of painful at some point because I knew like basketball uh, was going to be uh, exactly so um, at the end of the day I also felt like I had superpowers over uh, all of my friends because their, their motivation was buy the car or get an apartment by the beach or something like that. And for me, it was like, you know, I got a family. And, and um, I think that's all, that's always uh, given me a, like a nice engine. And it's always been in the back of my head, uh, the, the basketball thing. And there's always, uh, there's always been basketball in my life, even though I had to go to work, I came back and play, play with my daughters, be a dad, go back to work. But now uh, it's been a, it's been a, a, long, a long, long, long journey. Yeah. But um, it's finally been a bit I started playing with you know, started playing organized ball when I was seven. I was shooting basketball at like four years old, five years old, and ten foot. So by like seven years old, I knew I would put in a profession. But at ten was when it was like, And how do you keep moving in the process? Like here in Mexico, for example, the Mexican guys, you got those partners, they all have a university process here in Mexico. So it's yeah, something more with the stability. They got they had like the same process over there. So how was different you in the country, like having that process, not just jumping to the professional? I mean, these, these things in the middle that are the ones that are like a little bit more rough. It was decent for discipline. Like, college taught me a lot of discipline. I was moving around certain people. You know, so. Um, I went Division 2, um, 
didn't have a lot of Division One interest. I had some, but I decided to go to Division Two, um, leave myself there, had success there, and then you know, again, I'm like, all right, let's make the next jump, try and play pro. So with me, it was just kind of like all I got. Those three, like you know, I wanted to varsity. I did. I wanted to play in college. I did. I had success in college, and so from there on, I was like, you know, I put in myself enough to make the next jump to play professional basketball. Um, so yeah, it's all been like a thought process and believing in yourself. Um, it hasn't been easy. Um, people have told me, you know, you're too, too not big enough, not strong enough, not athletic enough, whatever. And I just take that as motivation. Uh, used to hearing it. Um, so yeah, it's eventually led to me being in the position I am now today, and I'm blessed and thankful to be here right now. So it's been, it's been fun. You made me jump to one question I want to do to you three because obviously uh, the size is different to you, you two guys so sometimes people don't believe because you don't have the same size so what was the, this was rough like during the process like just thinking like maybe I don't have that, that, those physical skills that they are looking for to be on a mission one or have more chances to be For me, I just always been one of those kids like we were like 10, 11, 12, like it was giving me a like, come play with this team, come play with that team. Like, so it was like different. Like, you got the chance to see. Yeah, I got a chance to see everything. But maybe for us it's it's different. Yeah, but, like, but it's like it's what we know so like we yeah. don't know we don't know what it is to be told so <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've been this high probably since I was like, like 14, 15, and I ain't grown since. <laughs> so, you get used to being the smallest person on the court after a while. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. It's also the advantage. Yeah, it is. How, how was this process? Like, they already told me, but you. You already told me part of your story, like you start playing junk because of being being in touch with your sister and the part of making money, but following up, like moving on. How do you think it was the process trying to be uh, in high school, then going to university? The whole process was kind of similar to data at some point. I was doing that, but I was always just really good, so when I was Like sixth grade, I was the top player in my state, so I was nationally ranked by seventh grade, eighth grade. So I was a five star my whole, basically my career. So basically, like you said, I kind of got handed a lot of things. So it was already like you know, go to the NBA. You know, I wasn't really thinking about high school. It was like NBA, or, you know, I was already at that level, just being one of the top players in the country. So I had a different type of um, process. So a lot of things were given to me. I got set up to whatever school I wanted to go to. And, um, so the hardest part was probably when I was younger, just going out trying to make sure I wanted to get us some money. But other than that, I pretty much was pretty much laid for me on a pedestal, I can say to the point, because I was an actually ranked player at such a young age. In, in this moment, there was, there was, there was a moment, uh, you can tell me, that you say, like, maybe basketball is not the way. I, there's an easy way something like you can do? Uh, I've never had that moment where I didn't want to play. I mean, my freshman year in college was a awakening for me. Uh, I was 17. Playing, uh, at that time, I feel like it was the best conference in the country. It was, so it was a very tough conference in the Big East. A lot of NBA players, but I've never got to the point where I just wanted to read by the basketball. So I'm just going to make it happen. Yeah. What was the question again? Like, how was your process? Like, you're just growing up, you're coming uh, to, to the high school, the university. Mine was, um, I was playing football at a college my first first year. And I didn't like it, the uh, dedication routine, waking up early, hitting early, all before 8 a.m. and then go to school, schedule class. It was just different. So. My love of the game was basketball, so I said, 
But God, you give me a chance to play basketball again, I go hard 110%. And ever since that day, I had an opportunity to play basketball. I took advantage and um, changed my ways. Because um, where I'm from, it's in the streets where you can make something happen with your life. You can make something happen in my life. So with that, I kept going. He was like, dang, since college you got three degrees. I was like, I ain't done yet, I'm not satisfied, I gotta keep going. I could have stopped there, got an easy job with my degrees, but I'm like, I'm hungry. So, kept going. And I'm here now. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked with Bobby. Uh, I asked him something that I want to know. Like, if there was some kind of redemption or a second battle for you, like, you coming to this league in Mexico, or having a chance to I know, be a pro, what do you want to show or what do you want to see in this year? Like going back to the States, to the, to the league or something, what's your motivation right now? Uh, I would say it's not, I don't look at it as redemption for anybody else, like fans or just anybody in general. season pro, so I look at this as uh, I'm to the point now where it's more about just proving to myself that I can still do what I do at a high level no matter what I've been through or what I'm going through at this point, so I'm more in competition with that, not, not so much redemption for anybody else around me, but more redemption in my heart, so. Pretty much the same thing, like, not in competition with nobody, you in competition with me, that's you and yourself. I just pick up the ball and I play God willing, whatever happens, happens. I really don't care about the NBA. If it happens, that's great, but I just want to play basketball. Uh, yeah, pretty much what they said. I mean, this is my first year playing professional. Uh, a lot of these guys, I know Johnny's second year. So, uh, we would say something like for 12 years, playing for five years. So at the end of the day, it's my first year, and I want to like, so I want to establish myself as a pro, and you know, improve and get better. But at the end of the day, like I'm leaning on these guys because they have experience, and you know, they're the ones they've been there before. They know kind of what to expect at the professional level, and I'm kind of back, you know, bringing my skills to the table, but also willing to learn from them um, in order for us to kind of like make this season. But it's meant to be. That's when a lot of games to make playoffs. I mean, with me, I, I, I think it's a pretty crazy dreams. You know that a lot of people told me that wasn't possible. That the chances were zero, 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 zero point one. So um, I, I've also had that. Before getting onto the stage, also playing basketball. I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer in myself. Obviously, on people with experience, and the teammates, and the coaching staff, and everybody on the organization. But, but uh, I, I don't listen to the people that say that I can't do it, or maybe I do just uh, just to motivate myself. But I was, I, I've always been um, competitive in order to to get the best out of myself. I know that I can do a lot of things that people don't think I can. I know and I, I believe in myself. Uh, I gotta be hard, so I rely on that. Over physics. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm believing God. Uh, I'm just glad to be here. At the end of the day, I almost always go hard, 10, 110%. Give a lot of God, this one year two for me. But I'm just happy to be around great guys, people that play 12 years, four years, people that play basketball, people that come around just touching the basketball, the staff, being people like Jesse, Will from the other side, West Coast, I'm from the East Coast. It's just God's plan, so with that, I'm gonna go hard and then go to people around me too. How do you think what's the process of this team? 
recruiting me, like coming to the to Mexico City, one of the biggest cities in Mexico, uh, and with a new project. What do you think? What do you expect? What do I tell you? How it was going to be like? It's the biggest city in the world too. It was for the money, but it's for the for the love of basketball. I was uh, pretty close um, throughout the entire process of uh, Capitanes team before they went to the G League. But unfortunately, because of my uh, my calendar, it was impossible for me to to make it uh, to make it happen. And I was uh, like five years younger. <laughs> but anyway, I, I didn't lose the the, the, the hope. I, I kept on taking care of my body. Uh, Discipline, eating healthy, uh, a lot of extra sacrifices that that at the end of the day end, end up paying off. And the fact that there was a new team after Capitalis went to the G League, the fact that there was a new team, I was like, 
to my hometown, which is obviously um, uh, it makes it a little less hard for me to to be with the team every day at practice and, and be with them as many games as, as my calendar allows it. But um, the fact that it was in Mexico City, I was like, I'm gonna go and, and, and try out. And they did some, some physical tests and stuff. And they didn't believe I was 41. <laughs> yeah, <they're right. laughs> so, we were talk about how were your process coming to Capital, sorry, Capital. Angeles, <laughs> and there, there is a situation sometimes here in Mexico with the teams because they say that they don't take care of the players and they make like things a little bit hard for players. How do you think the, the team has treated you right now? Like with uh, departments, food, uh, bringing you, coming, everything. Well, first year team, I feel like they doing they they doing great actually. They've been feeding us, making sure we got somewhere to live, um, making sure we're okay after practice, before practice, if we need anything, um, make us feel comfortable to be away from home and our families. Um, and then they got a great arena and facility, massage, stretch. So I feel like they're treating us pretty well. Especially in the first year team. Been a situation way worse. Yeah, you can compare it with 12, like, 12, <laughs> 12 years. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, they, they make sure we're fed, uh, nice housing. So it's no complaints. I think the management and everybody's doing a good job. Great. Right. Yeah, everything's been a good, good experience. My best experience so far this year playing basketball um, professionally. And so everyone's kind of on the same page. It's like a big family. So I don't have. Any complaints about it? The situation's been good for me. Okay. Like you said, I've been way worse. Well, you can't even get a bag of ice. <laughs> you can't get a you can't, you can't get a massage. You you calling every week, telling them what you need. They say okay. Then the next week come, you ask them again. Oh, oh next week, next week. They don't do that here, like, as soon as you say something, it's like, right on, like, immediately. And for them to be a first year team, that's, that's amazing. But I don't have, a, like, a, another references yeah. for an example but, in this league, but I have yeah. friends uh, who are really close with Capitan in G League and there's a Miami Heat as well, so uh, obviously it's different, it's a new team, but they're... When I spoke to them, when I see like their values, when I see what what they want to make out of this team and where they want to get to with this team, uh, it also got me got me excited. You know? And, and I'm, I'm always from my end. I'm like, don't forget, like the guys, you know, like this. And uh, as much as I can push from my front, I'll I'll uh, I'll, 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 I'll help my teammates. That's great. And last question, I want to know. In general, I know that you won that championship. I know that. I can see that in the games that you won, win every single game. Maybe the first game of each round haven't been like easy or the close in the game. But personally, what do you think of what should be your goal this season? Stay healthy. Yeah, you stay healthy. I don't think nobody in this week can be this. Okay? Uh, yeah, stay healthy. I would just say kind of get better each series. Um, we're kind of already getting to that point where we're, we're starting to trend upward. Yep. Um, just based on like how we play, I think if we if we just continue to just have that improvement mindset each series, each set of two games, get better, get better, then that's just gonna lead us to playing our best basketball on the back half of the season when the games mean the most. Yeah. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. I would say exactly um, what they said about staying healthy. That's always first and most important. Um, just for me, individually, personally, I mean, team-wise, my goal is just to win at a high level. Uh, I mean, I feel like I wouldn't have been playing this long if I wasn't winning. Um, my whole career, I've tried to build that around winning because I know what winning can do. Uh, I feel like if we win, everybody gets what they want at the end of the day. So my main goal is just to... to 
just be winners. And uh, whether that's like making it to the finals, making it to the playoffs, there's it's different ways of winning. But I just want us to all be, you know, have that winning culture. And, because, I mean, the season will be done soon, and the first thing that they're going to look at uh, next team is going to look at how the team do collectively work. Is it a winning group? So. Yeah, because you said it's, it's part of the culture. Yeah. I think that's, that's one, one thing you're trying to build right now. A yeah, winning culture, yeah, yeah. for sure. Goal for this season. What do you think are your goals for this season? Like you said, staying healthy, train hard, but train smart. Build each other confidence. My confidence should be higher. I should be doing well. But they their confidence higher towards the end of the season when it's time playoffs. Um, and that's really it. And it's going to be talent can take care of itself on the court. When you keep building each other up, train smart, believe in each other, this team is very special. And y'all can already see it this season. Guys, thank you for having this time to talk with the people, talk with me, and I think you're going to have a great season. Thank you. Thank you. Yo respondí en inglés para que me entendieran eso.